Hi guys, um, I thought I'd go over um, a couple of capture pain relief setups um, and I've been posting a few in the group but um, just basically the whole premise behind it and uh, um, just in case you're new and um, uh, this is pretty much going to be the format and what I'm going to really be uh, posting from now on. So with capture pain relief what we're doing is first of all is we are trying to take advantage of when uh, uh, common and popular um, support and resistance strategies fail. So um, it doesn't matter what time frame you look at these levels on, as long as the, the level is obvious, yeah, for everybody to see. So whether it's, you know, a five minute, a 10 minute, a 15 minute, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's obvious on multiple time frames. So um, again, what we're looking at is is levels where obvious uh, uh, technical analysis, um, you know, breakout trading, um, retracement trading, level trading fails. So this is a this is a great example one um, on the Euro CAD from a technical perspective. So what we've got is an obvious level for everybody to see now, no matter what kind of time frame you're looking at that on, whether it's you know five minute chart, that's a level. Yeah, if you're looking at that from a, a a 30 minute chart and anything in between that is a level whether it's an hourly chart as well that is a level yeah all traders are going to be looking at that level so it's, it's very obvious so what you want to see is an obvious level first of all and then secondly what you want to do is you want to just observe you know um uh, traders get involved in you know certain trades so you can see where breakout traders right will get involved in this area here and then what you've got is you've got a pullback and a retracement yeah so you've got not only breakout traders but you've got retracement traders as well yeah and also we're taking advantage of not only the fact that you know when 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 obvious um, uh, technical analysis fails those traders but we're taking advantage of the fact that those traders do not um, uh, are not disciplined yeah so uh, traders tend to over leverage traders will um, are on a bit of a losing streak um, and what that does is that that makes them revenge trade and, and risk too much on a trade and things like that right so and what uh, as a result of that they tend to move and remove their stop losses right so we're taking advantage of the pain yes of, of, of their pain when they start to move and remove their stop losses so going back to where the retracement trader is getting in right now where are their stop losses or if they trade with stop losses if they don't mental stop losses they're going to be placing them there and once prices start to go against them what they tend to do in these traders right something called loss aversion bias is when pain feels worse than gains feel good um, they move and remove their stop losses higher and higher as prices start to go against them so the price action is what captures them in and then as prices start to go against them this is the pain phase yeah this is the pain phase Where, where they thought that you know they were in a winning trade here and now they're in a losing trade so this is the pain and then what they want is these guys want some relief yeah so where is the relief coming the relief is coming down here yeah so if they sold to get short press sell on their broker then they have to do what to exit they have to buy to exit traders who would have shorted from up here where they're taking profit potentially around levels of support and resistance this is an obvious level here so buying is going on that's demand and uh, traders who trade just basically levels support support resistance into that support zone here they're going to be buying as well so that's more demand so we have more demand potentially from a technical analysis perspective if prices ever come back in and around this area here because who is selling here obviously depends on overall value if you want if you think that the euro is a bargain down here then excellent that goes you know um, 
uh, that's, that's some extra confluence from a fundamental perspective. If you think that the Canadian dollar is a, you know, it, um, uh, you want to be a buyer of the Canadian dollar, then you may want to obviously look for um, CPR zones around here, around the highs. So, um, but yeah, this is just a really good example of um, of a level how to really read traders where they've been caught in their positions, and especially when you see. Um, you know structures that have been broken yeah so these structures these obvious structures are broken to anyone trading short down here yeah once they see that structure broken it's even more pain if you know what i mean um because again they, they're not going to be able to get out of their trades they're taking a bigger loss potentially than what they expected and the prices come down here the best the next best trade um is a break-even trade so um this is the way that you know we're trying to trade uh, and we do trade uh, capture pain relief yeah um, against other traders so um, if you want more clarification you can go onto the course and uh, watch all the course material and all the other material that I've got in the discord group as well all right guys take care and speak to you soon so if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone for X strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hard working as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.